Nathan Segura here at Paycor Stadium where the Browns finished the 2023 regular season, losing 31 to 14 to the Cincinnati Bengals. Of course, this was not a normal game. The Browns rested pretty much everybody you would expect them to rest in this one. The Bengals, they played their starters and boy, they got out to a big lead at one point. It was 31 to nothing in this game before Jeff Driscoll would connect with David Bell for not one, but two touchdowns late in the game. Really the only offensive highlights in this one. He had some nice moments to Anthony Bell with an interception on the Bengals' first possession. But after that, the Bengals would rip off three straight touchdowns, and really, this one was over very, very early. Now for the Browns, you had some nice moments for individuals as well. I mentioned the DeAnthony Bell interception. Isaiah McGuire would get his first career sack. Alex Wright would get a sack for the fourth consecutive game, giving him five now on the season. And then Deron Harmon would record the first sack of his 11-year, three-time Super Bowl champion career. And that sack gave the Browns 49 this season and setting a new franchise single season record. So the Browns will end at 11 and six. But what we found out while we were playing after the Jacksonville Jaguars were in Tennessee, they lost that game. So the Browns will be heading to Houston to take on the Texans. And this will be a very different Texans team than the one they face on Christmas Eve. CJ Stroud is back. Their defense has gotten healthier. This is going to be a big time showdown and a big time test. And it certainly is going to be a lot of fun. Joe Flacco against the kid C.J. Stroud. That's what's coming your way. We'll have full coverage for you of everything getting you ready for the Browns playoff opener on Wild Card Weekend all throughout the week on Cleveland Browns Daily and, of course, at clevelandbrowns.com and the Browns mobile app. We will find out later tonight where the Browns, what time, what day the Browns will play. We know we're going to Houston. Don't know if it'll be Saturday, Sunday, or Monday yet, so stay tuned for those announcements. 31-14, the Browns lose a really a meaningless game to both sides. The Bengals, they get a win. They finish with a winning record. In fact, all four teams for the first time in AFC North Division history, all four teams with this grouping, all had winning records, three teams going to the playoffs with the Ravens, the Browns, and the Steelers getting in as well with the Jags loss. Now the attention turns to Houston. Now the attention turns to the playoffs. Here we go, Browns fans.